This is a full this is a reading for the full moon at the beginning of August 2023. Um the first card that came out is the moon. Um and there seems to be this well, she looks like a high priestess to me. Um who along with these two spirits seems to be receiving energy or um, some kind of communication with the moon. Uh, the Guardian of Swords. Um, I've been seeing the Queen of Swords quite a lot recently and um, I think her role is to cut out things that aren't needed. Um, and in the Two of Swords here, we can see this woman with the blindfold on. She's put down her swords and she's removing the blindfold. So the moon seems to be bringing some kind of sight um, or clarity. Um, yeah, so sort of removing any blinders. And this final card, this is the Starling's murmuration, uh, which is sort of mimicking the universe, expanding and contracting. So yeah, it's this sort of huge collective expansion and movement uh, in communication with one another. So in the main reading, we start off with the Six of Cups or Six of Emotions. And this is about connecting to the inner child, um, reflecting on the inner child and forgiving and loving and nurturing the inner child. Uh, then we have the Judgment card, which in this deck is the Idea card. And you can see this inspiration coming from uh, this angelic um, being. Uh, into somebody's head uh, and a similar sort of message with the magician with the connection to the heavens and the earth so creating that sort of uh, infinity connection and receiving inspiration and I think clarity with the with the sword there and love of course um, this final card here um, always reminds me of migraines <laughs> uh, it's kind of like a storm um, it has the same pink color of the moon from the underlying reading um, so I kind of feel like there's messages from the um, spirit realm that there's some kind of um, connection going on or enlightenment or sudden um, download maybe collectively yes which is quite similar to this card uh, then we have the justice card um, so in this image we have uh, the head cracking open and it sort of feels like transformation and growth and enlightenment with the sun coming out from the from the center of the head. Um, then we have the Ace of Swords, which connects to. The... Uh, yes, and then next we have the Nine of Swords, which is about nightmares and overcoming uh, demons uh, by standing in your truth, I suppose and realising it's just in the mind, uh, followed by the teacup in the storm. Um, so there's a lot of turbulence going on in this row, in this sort of area, actually. Um, and then in the final row, in the final row, we've got the awakening card. Uh, which is quite similar to this Justice card um, and this kind of rebirth that's happening 
uh, and it seems to be about the truth coming from the heart. Um, but then there's also this connection to the universe with this comet here. Um, so it seems to be this sort of collective truth, maybe. Uh, and in the Two of Wands, we've got um, growth from the universe and a growth from Mother Earth. And um, there's kind of like a splitting. It's almost like the two entwining flowers could bind these two together, but not at the moment. Uh, there seems to be a split, but um, it's only very subtle. Um, and then we have, um, again, we've got this image of somebody being released from the blindfolds, from the ties, from the binds that uh, hold this person uh, or limit this person. Um, so kind of these two people are working together to support each other. Um, and finally, we've got the, the strength card with this ghostly white tiger with the blue eyes and the person dressed in this blue. So I'm pointing to their heart, you know, so it's about love. It's about truth um, and it's about having the strength to stand in your, in your truth, I suppose. 